Good evening, everybody. Joining the uh, regular village board meeting for November 9th, 2021. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of Allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Line of roll call, please. Mayor DeBold. Here. Trustees Brockman. Here. Carroll. Here. Chapman. Here. Kirkland. Lambert. Here. And Luciano. Here. Thank you. We do have a quorum. Are there any citizens wishing to address the village board this evening? Seeing none, we'll move into tonight's consent agenda. Uh, right off the bat on, on the docket, item number five is going to be struck, just so everybody's aware of that. Uh, consent agenda item number one, approval of the regular meeting minutes, October 26, <coughs> 2021. Approval of the committee of the whole meeting minutes, October 26, 2021. Approval of accounts payable in the amount of $917,874.52. Approval of a payment in the amount of $61,179 to Integral Construction for Four Seasons Park Tennis Court Refurbishment. Number six would be approval of a payments number one and two in the amount of $2,718,771.45 to Pacific Construction for work completed on the new public works facility. And number seven would be approval of a payment in the amount of $13,117.82 to TRIA Architecture for the new public works facility. Are there any items that a <clears throat> trustee wishes to question or have removed? I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. I'll second. Motion Luciano, second. Carol, roll call please. Carol? Yes. Chapman? Yes. Lambert? Luciano? Yes. And Brockman? Yes. The consent agenda is approved. Reports of communications. Lana, anything uh, arrived in the mail otherwise? No, oh, sir. Thank you very much. We will move into our order of business this evening. Uh, first off for tonight, we are going to swear in a new police officer. Uh, please join me in the swearing in. We're going to swear in Officer Christina Smecker. Smecker, I apologize. Uh, she came from the Warrenville Police Department. She's a resident in the area, and uh, she has a couple of kids. So please join me, and we'll uh, swear the officer in. Go ahead. Having been appointed to the position of police officer in the police department for the village of Shorewood. Have been appointed as police officer in the village of County of Will. County of Will. State of Illinois. State of Illinois. Aforesaid. Aforesaid. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Constitution of the State of Illinois. The Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the ordinances of the village of Shorewood. And the ordinances of the village of Shorewood. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. All right, uh, order of business number two will be a consideration for approval of the appointment of Kim Gould to the <coughs> Planning and Zoning Commission for a two-year term. Kim Gould is a resident for 22 years within the village of Shorewood. She's married, a couple of boys, and uh, at this time she's looking to have a little more involvement within the community. If there's uh, any questions or if there's no questions, I'd take a motion to confirm the appointment. I do have one question. Sure, sir. Will, will she be up for reappointment in May? We normally reappoint 
planning and zoning in May, the first meeting in May. <coughs> Will she be up for reappointment of May of 2023 then? Yes, sir. So it's kind of like a year and a half, so. Yeah. Okay, that'd be great, thank you. So moved on that appointment. Mo motion Chapman. Second. Second Brockman, roll call please. Chapman. Yes. Lambert. Yes. Luciano. Yes. Brockman. Yes. And Carroll. Yes. Thank you, the appointment's confirmed. Item number three, consideration for approval of a resolution approving the site plan for a building addition at 301 Shanahan Street for Whiteside and Goldberg Law Offices. Trustee Brockman and Community Development Director Chrissy. Okay, thank you, Mayor. Um, Jason Whiteside came before us on our last meeting and uh, their building has gotten uh, small, so to speak, and they need more storage area, so uh, they presented a very nice uh, addition to the building at our last meeting, so uh, Kelly, Want to show what we got, please? Yes, thank you, good evening. So 301 Shanahan is shown here, um, outlined in orange. It is the transitional piece between the single family residential and some commercial uses. And um, in 2014, the board rezoned this property to be one and then approved a conditional use for a planned unit development in order to allow the improvements that would um, transition the single family home to the current office for Whiteside and Goldberg Law. The request is for a proposed addition, a 650 square foot building addition off the rear of the property shown here in uh, yellow. The addition size is approximately the same size as the shed that was removed from the property. And that is why this request is being brought forward as a site plan amendment and not a PUD amendment as it doesn't trigger it. Um, so we do show here the elevation, which does show consistency with the scale of the existing building and that it will fit neatly into the existing um, character of the neighborhood. The request does comply with the zoning regulations and does enable an existing business to remain in and grow in Shorewood, which is always great news. The PZC did unanimously recommend approval um, and it is brought forward tonight for your consideration. Thank you, Kelly. Any questions? If not, I'll make a motion to approve resolution approving the site plan for a building addition at 301 Shannon Street for Whiteside and Goldberg Law Offices. Second. Motion Brockman, second Carroll. Roll call, please. Lambert. Yes. Luciano. Yes. Brockman? Yes. Carroll? Yes. And Chapman? Yes. Motion carries. Item number four, consideration for approval of an ordinance granting an amendment to the conditional use for the planned unit development to relocate of the police impound lot on the site plan for the public works facility and for certain deviations to the Shorewood zoning ordinance with respect thereto, 25914, 26,000, 26010 West Mound Road. This item is up for a first read. Trustee Brock. Thank you again, Mayor. Uh, public Works came before us at our last meeting and uh, we held a public hearing on this. Uh, no one spoke for or against the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, movement of the impound lot. You know, when you build something, you think it's a good, you know, you look at something and maybe Maybe it uh, was, was good in the original plans, but after a while they said, uh, let's move it to the other side. So uh, it looks a lot better there. So comes here with a 7-0 vote. Kelly, you have any other additions? It just has a, have a, a site plan here that shows the relocation as a result of the removal of the burn tower. Um, construction or, or proposed construction. And so this is just to reflect the um, building expansion that was approved by the board and as well as the relocation of the impound lot. Um, 
the the relocation of this impound lot does actually improve a couple things. One, it does improve security um, for the public works storage yard. So police, the tow vehicles do not need to go inside the storage yard. It also in increases the amount of storage that public works has uh, on the property. So this is uh, an improvement to the site plan with that modification. Okay, thank you, Kelly. No other questions, make a motion to approve ordinance granting an amendment that conditionally use for a plan unit development to relocate the police impound lot on the site plan for public works facility and for certain deviations from Shorewood zoning ordinance respect to 25914, 26,000, 26,010 West Mound Road and I'll wave the second read. Second. Motion Brockman, second Lambert. Roll call, please. Luciano. Yes. Brockman. Yes. Carroll. Yes. Chapman. Yes. And Lambert. Yes. Items approved. Item number five, this will be the consideration for approval of an ordinance for the levy and collection of taxes for the village of Shorewood, Will County, Illinois, for the fiscal year beginning April 1, 2021 and ending March 31st, 2022. This will be up for a first read. Ms. Burkholder. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, this will be the first read of our 2021 proposed tax levy. Uh, there are two pieces to this. One, the, the first one being the police pension portion. Um, the actuarial evaluation recommended actually a slight decrease over what was levied in the prior year, but um, for the sake of the un unknown circumstances that, that could arise before we're able to levy a tax again, uh, staff does recommend leaving that amount flat over what was levied in the prior year to give a little bit of a cushion there. Uh, the other piece of it is the rest of the levy not dedicated to police pension. There is a slight increase proposed in the total dollars being levied, but when we couple that with our growth in EAV, we anticipate that our rate, our, our tax rate would stay the same and actually probably go down just a bit. This estimate includes a 2% increase in the village's EAV over the prior year. However, the average over the last five years is between five and 6%. So a very modest increase in total dollars. Um, there's no action to be taken tonight. We do need a second read on this. Any questions from Ms. Burkholder? I'll make the motion no, to... No, oh. it's no motion. Uh, this, it ha this has to go through a second read, so... So neither one of these? Yep, thank you. All right, since there's no questions, we'll move on to number five, or I'm sorry, number six. Number six will be consideration for approval of an ordinance abating the taxes hereto levied for the year 2021 to pay the principal of an interest on $14,200,000 general obligation bonds, series 2021, of the Village of Shore, Will County, Illinois, and this is also up for a first read. Ms. Burkle. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, this is the first read of our 2021 abatement ordinance. What this will do is codify the village's intention to not use property taxes to make the debt service payment on our bonds for that public works facility. Um, this is a first read, but you are able to take action on it if you so choose. Otherwise, it, it is not a problem to wait for a second read. I'll make the motion to approve an ordinance abating the taxes hereto levied for the year 2021 to pay the principal of an interest on $14,200,000 in general obligation bonds, series 2021 of the village of Shorewood, Will County, Illinois. Wave the second read. Second. Motion Lambert, second Luciano. Roll call, please. Rockman. Yes. Carol? Yes. Chapman? Yes. Lambert? Yes. And Luciano? Yes. Thank you. Items approved. Thank you. Consideration for approval of a contract award to Arbitex Services in the amount not to exceed $15,000 for the 2021 annual tree pruning program and waive the bid process. Public Works Director Noriega. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening. The tree pruning program is an annual program that we do. It's considered a best management practice for the health of all of our parkway and park trees. We are responsible for approximately 11,000 trees throughout the village. We're about 7,700 parkway trees, and then there's 3,300 located in our parks. 
Uh, we've developed a seven-year program for our uh, tree pruning program. Basically, it allows us to at least trim, look at each tree uh, throughout the village over a seven-year period. ArborTech has been our selected contractor for well over a decade, um, where they even have not increased their price <coughs> since they started here. ArborTech also donates their staff time and equipment for the village's Christmas tree harvesting event. Staff recommends approval of ArborTech's tree pruning proposal not to exceed 15000 and waive the bid process. Any questions? I'll make the motion to approve a contract award to ArborTech Services Incorporated in the amount not to exceed $15,000 for the 2021 annual tree pruning program and waive the bid process. Second. Motion Lambert. Second Luciano. Roll call, please. Carol? Yes. Chapman? Yes. Lambert? Yes. Luciano? Yes. And Brockman? Yes. Thank you. Items approved. Number eight, consideration for approval of the purchase of a Sterdal Coney platform from Skylift Safety Lane Equipment Corporation in the amount of $107,918.30 for the new Public Works facility. Public Works Director Noriega. Thank you, Mayor. So this is for our, the construction of our um, equipment in our uh, new Public Works facility. This is a budgeted item. This is also will be part of the bond. Um, I, this is one of those items which I've described to you in the past that this is the owner responsibility. So the lift will be installed as part of Pacific Construction's uh, contract. The platform lift is a sterile Coney um, sky lift um, from Safety Link. It's quoted at $107,918.30. Uh, staff recommends approval of the quote from Safety Lane Equipment for this platform in the amount of $107,918.30. Any questions? I do. Can you explain more what this is for, what it is? It is for our fleet mechanics to be able to lift our heavy equipment off the ground so that they can work on it. Okay. I make the motion to approve the purchase of a Sturdo Coney platform from Skyless Safety Line Equipment Corporation in the amount of $107,918.30 for the new public works facility. I'll second. Motion Lambert, second Carol. Roll call, please. Chapman? Yes. Lambert? Yes. Luciano? Yes. Brockman? Yes. And Carol? Yes. Yeah. Items approved. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Move into reports. Building department. Thank you. Community development. Thank you. Finance. Thank you. Parks. There's Luke. Thank you, sir. Good evening. I'll make it nice and short. Uh, we have our winter newsletter. It'll be out. Uh, it'll be at the post office this Friday. Um, so you'll see it either over the weekend or next week, early next week. We have our Christmas tree lighting coming up November 23rd at 6 p.m. Uh, the tree located out in town center. Um, come out, listen to music, and watch the tree and town square light up for the first time. Um, then we have our Shorewood Holiday Market, which is December 3rd through 5th. Um, it's going to be 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. each day. Um, we have over 30 vendors and some family-friendly entertainment planned. That's it. Thanks. Police Department. Thank you, sir. Public Works. Try to make this quick. Thank you, Mayor. So, leaf pickup program continues throughout the village. Um, we have also swept almost 200 miles of roadways during just this season alone. Uh, we cleaned out a culvert over at the, uh, the low flow concrete channel over at, uh, at the Hunt Club subdivision's uh, detention facility. Uh, we harvested the Christmas tree uh, for that event. So as you know, staff is now working diligently in decorating the village for around the town center for our upcoming events. Uh, we continue to get ready for the, the, the winter season coming up you'll start seeing many of our equipment with the plows on the front. And we've now um, removed the windscreens over at our pickleball and tennis courts in preparation for the winter as well. Those will be erected again come springtime. Any questions? 
Thanks for getting in the hunt club there. That should make that drain a lot nicer now. Yeah, you're welcome. I couldn't believe how much stuff come out of there. There was a lot. Boy, there was. We have a couple other detention facilities that we're going to try to make time for. <laughs> Gave that little backhoe some use, huh? Yes. <laughs> some of them are a little bit too wet for us to actually get in there. We do a lot more damage, so we're waiting for, call it the first frost, where the, the ground is harder so we can get in there. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Interim Administrator Klima. Uh, so everything's really busy. You'll hear about the big items in the Committee of the Whole when we do the briefs on the water and the comprehensive plan and, and, and the traffic and the roadway construction. A couple of other items. Uh, we did get four uh, proposals back on our garbage. When we went out for proposals for the garbage service, uh, Noriel and I have reviewed them. We'll have a recommendation to you soon. I hope to have that on the agenda for the one meeting we have in December, so that can be all tidied up before the end of the year. Um, been co uh, communicating with Dave and the village administrator in Shanahan about the boundary agreement extension. Uh, we're gonna basically renew our current agreement at 80. We're gonna have that, if not the next meeting, the one in December, so we can put that to bed as well. Um, we're still uh, looking for the IT director. Um, I should say specialist, not director, uh, for the village. That's going to become a, a really hot button item for us. Tony informed me this week that at the insurance swarm meeting that our cybersecurity policy, which will be renewed in May, will have certain cybersecurity requirements. So it'll be incumbent on everybody with phones, tablets, computers, devices. We'll have to have multi-factor authentication and things like that because if we get hacked, we're going to be on the hook if we're not compliant with the policy. So. In the future, we'll be talking about tablets for all of you if you so choose to have them instead of paper, and we'll teach you how to you know, get through all of those steps so you can log on and get the retrieve your email and your documents for meetings and stuff. Um, the police department applications are ongoing. As of a couple hours ago, I checked, we had 60 submissions, which I think is excellent. Uh, other communities our size are not getting that many, so we're still attracting a good number of candidates, and we have about three and a half weeks to go. And uh, the promotional testing is still ongoing. This next week, they're going to take their written exam, and then the oral intervals will happen at the end of the month. So we've got all that going on at the PD. That's it. Any questions for Aaron? <clears throat> Thank you. Trustee Collins, Trustee Brockman. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, next meeting will be December 1st, a little bit too early for an agenda yet. And uh, want to again thanks Kim uh, Gould for stepping up and uh, being part of our planning and zoning group. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. That's my report. And she uh, she attended your uh, meeting last week. And, and despite and she's still that, here, she still wants to very be good. a member. Very <laughs> good. Very good. Thank you, and Trustee Carroll. Just one thing: compliments to Public Works. They did some work at. Uh, Maple and Birch were the turning radius. The garbage trucks and school buses were half in the ditch there. And they actually crushed part of the culvert. So they went and corrected it quickly. I think there's some modification work yet to be done on it, but a lot better than it was. So good, they good. Did, did a nice job. Thank you. Trustee Chapman. No comment. No problem. Thank you. Trustee Kirkland is not here. Trustee Lambert. On no report. No problem. No comments. Trustee Luciano. Uh, I'd like to report at our last uh, Citizens Advisory Committee, we had 19 members participate. That's the highest amount of people that showed up for a meeting since we revised the Citizens Advisory Committee. So uh, I just wanted to pass that on. Uh, we do not meet in November and December because of the holidays, so our next meeting for the committee will be in January 2022. And if anyone's interested, like always, getting involved, you can contact myself or some of the other members through the village website. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, from there, we will take a motion to go into executive session to discuss personnel, consider the appointment, employment, compensation, discipline, performance, or dismissal of specific employees. And just for the record, we will adjourn from executive session. No action will be taken after. We will come back. Correct. We'll come back for the committee of the whole, though. I need a motion to go to the executive. 
I make the motion to go to the executive session. Second. <laughs> motion Lambert, second Luciano. Roll call, please. Lambert. Yes. Luciano. Yes. Brockman. Yes. Carroll. Yes. Batman. Yes. All right, we, we will go in the back conference room, please.